smoked out on this one though. You already, you already know who it is, Trey Marcus Sky Diver, you know what I'm saying? Jet set all day, every day, super villain in the building. Chilling in NYC, rocking with my nigga Shine, you already know what to do. Frank the Shrip this radio, nigga, all day, every day. I'll be a square, nigga, no sucker shit. You already know. See no speed, no head, no lane, no CDR, nigga. Jets. Let me know how you actually you know, all came together, man, to form the, the Jets Collective that's taking over right now as far as the rap hip hop goes. Well, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, I've been rapping for a long time since I was like 13, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not. So me and Spit have been on each other. Like, I, my cousin is his cousin. Okay. Like, on some shit. So, like, we've been. You know, kicking in this shit back in the day, and you know what I'm saying? When that nigga had got on with Wayne and shit, like I came through the studio late, some shit, cause I ain't rapping like two years. No you know what I'm saying? Before he had called me in the studio. So I went over there, dropped the 16, and it's been fucking Jets ever since. You know what I'm saying? Friday was already there, Street Wiz was already there, okay. you know what I'm saying? So at the time, I was just like on some, you know, fuck rap shit. Yeah, so yeah. I was whack as fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? But my nigga was trying to do some new shit, you know, some shit I was feeling, so I definitely wanted to be a part of it. I mean, I just took some time off to see what direction I really wanted yeah. to go in. I kind of put my foot in my mouth on issue one. Yeah. It's like, yo, I'm coming out on the 16th. Okay. Look at the phone, and I'm like, oh shit, I got a week and a half. <laughs> so I took my time on issue two. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more of me personally okay. on issue two. You know, the shit I was dealing with yeah. from May 16th up until this point. Okay. So, I mean, it's an adventure like always, you know. The name, Trademark the Skydive. Tell me a little bit about how you acquired that name, Trademark. I was like, yo, man, I need a dope name if I'm gonna be doing this rap shit. Yeah. He was like, well, look, man, on the slick, I was gonna be the DJ, so my name was gonna be DJ Trademark. And I was like, yo, <laughs> nah, you gotta give me that shit, Trademark, that's me. Yeah. And then when I fucking uh, linked up with Spitter and shit, I was just like, you know, I wanted to add some fly to that shit, so I was just like, Trademark, the sky dive right off the bat. No doubt, man. And um, since I'm gonna ask some asking questions about the origin of the name, I gotta ask about the issue series. And, right. You know, you, mentioned that there would be an issue for you, so tell me about why you chose to do like a comic book type of thing, man. Which is something different than a lot of people doing mixtapes right now. Right, that's just that's just me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I grew up into the comic books and shit. And when they see the video footage, they'll see the fit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. like the whole super villain concept and shit is just like, you know, living out my childhood again, yeah. you know what I'm saying, as an adult and doing it creatively. You know what I'm saying? And being able to spread that shit to a lot of people because niggas act like it's whack. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, to be cool, nah, nah, I think it ain't whack. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Niggas from all different corners of the world do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Thugs play video games, all day. gangsters play video games. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So, niggas is crazy. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I came up with that shit. It's just a reflection of uh, my childhood and what I still do this day. And we kind of touched on issue three, man. I think that's going to be dope. And you're working with Steve Beats right now, so I can only imagine uh, the heat that's coming out of that Crazy. situation, man. Uh, how is it working with Steve Beats? Because, you know, he's a veteran in the game, and now he's starting to work with a lot of young dudes, man. So how is it with you coming from the NL and now working with basically a legend as far as the producer goes, man? I mean, it's, it's all good. You know, it, it's kind of funny because he makes beats the same way I write. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I might write the verse first, come back, and then write the chorus. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, he'll lay down the format for the beat. We'll drop it on the shit, and then he just go nuts on it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, I mean, it's cool. You know, it's experience. You know what I'm saying? Working with a vet and, you know, just him wanting to work with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And giving me that respect, just it means a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my nigga. I fuck with Skeet. I'm just sitting here trying to win no trade, I'm spaced out I stay on another level, get two guards full of cardboard out And roll them two leaves up together, clever I know But these niggas can't do what I do, and these bitches can't go where I go But still they try to follow, sipping click go out the bottle I live my life full throttle, but that we slow me down Like brakes on Marcia Lago